Hey, hello everyone, and today I have a game maker tutorial, and this is on uh, car sounds and how you can make it like rev uh, if you want to make like a drag racing game or just a racing game in general, and you want to have that car uh, RPM sound where it goes up, you shift, it goes back down, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So first off, you need a sound for the car uh, idling, so we're going to call this SND idle. And I have a file in my sounds, and it's car idling sound, and it sounds like this. And it just plays that for 16 seconds. So, we're going to make this stereo. Cool. Alright, so that's all you need for that. And then, we need a room, obviously, and... Um, I'm actually not going to show you a car, I mean, uh, yeah, we're going to have to make this an actual car. So what we're going to do is we got to make this width of this room pretty big. We're going to make it 10,000 by 720, and that should be good. In the background color, we can just make, uh, white. Now we're going to make a ground. And we'll make this 32 by 32. Alright, edit this, and the ground's just going to be black. Now we can make an object for that ground. And this actually serves no purpose other than to show us where our car is. So you don't have to put anything in there. Just make sure you give it the sprite. And if you go into our room, which I want to rename room test, we can go ahead and place down our ground. Whoops. Just like that. And we're going to expand that as one object for this entire room, which. I'm going to zoom out. There we go. So there's our ground. Now we need a car. I'm not very good at drawing on a computer. So we'll make this 152 by 100. And we can just go ahead and draw our car in here. So we got circle and we make the wheels oops that's not a circle that is a circle and I'm gonna make a new layer for that other wheel because I'm not gonna be able to get it to look like the other one there we go now we're gonna go ahead and line that up. Actually, we're gonna switch these. So that's the back wheel, that's the front wheel. We'll make it red. Cause why not? I am not here to show you art skills, obviously, so you'll have to excuse my horrible drawings. So we're going to go ahead and darken this red color. I'm going to go ahead and, whoops, my bad. Oh my god, ok. 
Okay, so we're going to have to do this the hard way. Oh, I'm not used to this new interface. Okay, so we're going to get our pencil black and we're just going to should work. It's not the color I wanted. There we go. There's our car. I know it's not good. Now all we have to do is we're going to trim that and you could center it if you want. You don't have to. I, I mean, it'd be better to. Alright, and then we got to make that object for our car. Give it sprite, make it solid. Now we gotta go into our room, and we're just gonna throw it in there real quick. Right there. Okay. Save your project. All right. Now we can get started on the actual programming. So there's you have to define variables just like an actual car would, with torque and gears and RPM and whatnot. So gear. Our starting gear is going to be zero. You're not in any gear. RPM is going to also be zero. You're just idling. Car RPM equals one. That's going to be um, the RPM of the gear you are currently in. And then car torque, that's going to equal one. And you can adjust those however you want. Alarm zero, it's going to equal ten. That's going to be for shifting. And we need our engine sounds, so SND engine equals, and it's going to be SND idle. Just like that. And that's all the variables you need. Uh, now we're going to go into our step event. And it's going to be switching gears. And I'll try to explain this the best I can. So we need to define a pitch for our sound. And that's going to be the torque of the car. So we have to say audio sound pitch. So instead of changing uh, the sound index you're using for each gear switch, you're going to just change the pitch of it uh, instantaneously. So it should be a little bit easier. So S in the engine. And we need car torque. That's going to be this, uh, the pitch. So now we need to do a little bit of math and figure out our RPM, how it's going to react, um, how the car RPM is going to react uh, based on what gear we are in, and then add the torque, which would be speed, basically. So RPM is going to equal, and we need our speed, divided by 12. And you can always adjust that. That's going to be basically how quick... Um, uh, the sound can uh, increase. So now we need car RPM. Is that how I defined it? Yeah, I did. Okay. So car RPM is going to be 0 0.8 uh, plus RPM and minus, and we need the gear uh, divided by 1.8. And that's just going to define um, the car's RPM based on the gear we are in and this RPM. Now we need our car torque. Uh, it's going to plus equal, so we need to add some torque. And it's going to be car RPM uh, minus car torque. And then we need to divide all of that by 3. Now this is where shifting gears comes in. Shift gears manually. So this is not automatic shifting, not shit. Shift. There we go. So we're going to say if keyboard, you guys know how to do all this stuff. Keyboard check pressed. And then we're going to do 
uh, VK up. So whenever you press the up key, it's going to shift up. And we're going to say and and. And gear is less than or equal to 5. So this is going to be a 5 speed car. And you can always set up a variable for how many gears you want it to have. So it's a little bit easier to check or and keep it consistent. But if you want to do this, it's fine. And then we're going to say gear plus equals 1. So we have to um, add a gear, if that makes sense. We're going to shift up. Uh, now we can copy this. And we can say down. And if you are in a gear, so greater than or equal to 1. So you have to be uh, in a gear. It can't be back down to 0 again. Because we're not stopping so if you wanted to have space or not space but like enter be your handbrake or something you could set gear to be zero and it'd cancel all this out so you'd instantly go into neutral all right so now we need to make it so we can move and this is pretty basic we just say if keyboard check I'm gonna use space for my accelerator and we're just gonna say speed plus equals 0 0.18 and you can adjust that of course depending on what your speed is or what your RPMs and everything is and gear times 3 and that's what you need for that so now we say if keyboard check released we're going to say VK space. Uh, now we just got to basically decrease the speed since we're not uh, holding down the accelerator anymore. So we're going to say speed minus equals 0 0.16. So it has to be a little bit less than this. So you kind of coast to a stop. You're not just slamming on the brakes or anything. And we're going to divide that by... 1 plus gear. Uh, put that in parentheses. Gear times 3. Not 34. And that's all you need for that. So the last step is just to play the sound every 10 milliseconds or 10 steps, which is what our alarm was used for. So we add event alarm 0. We're going to play the sound now. This just keeps it from repeating over top of uh, the sound you already had playing. So it doesn't get like a thousand sounds playing at once. And then you want it, <coughs> you want it to loop. So that's it. And this, sh according to plan... And if I didn't make any errors, this should work. Malform statement. We're going to go ahead and throw parentheses around this. Just in case that's causing an error. Uh, huh. Speed plus equals... Uh, divided by. That's why we're not multiplying that. There we go. That should work now. Oop. I forgot to adjust the view. So in viewport and cameras, enable viewports. Viewport 1 is visible. And just make the height 720 so it fits the screen ratio. go. We hold down the accelerator. I need that to follow the car. And make this 360 and 360. So now you should hear the difference.
And then if we shift down. My bad. Let's restart that. There are a few errors here. Um... It could just be my idling sound, because I used a different one before I made this, so it could just be that. Um, and we can always adjust the RPM, um, even this, we could say 16 for that, 14 for that, and see if that changes anything significantly. It looks like I have a loop going somewhere uh, that isn't, it's not playing too well. But, I mean, that's the basic gist of it. Uh, you could hear, hopefully, the audio uh, revs up, but I must have done something. Oh, wait a second. That's why. Now, if we shift down, you should hear it get to a higher RPM. now we really need to shift yeah so that's basically how this works hopefully you guys learned something valuable if you have any questions comments concerns make sure you leave them in the comments below uh thank you guys for watching and i'll see you next time